Okay, so the type of video I'm about to shoot is different than what I normally do. Um, I kind of want to do a guitar tutorial. Maybe it'll help someone who wants to learn to play. Uh, I know a lot of people who want to learn to play. And I know a few guitarists who are like, how the hell do you do what you do? Because I'm just kind of all over the place, so... For anyone who wants to learn basic shit, <laughs> that's what this video is for. Okay. So... Uh, make sure you can see the guitar, because that is way more important than my face right now. Most guitar music from the 20s up is based around the pentatonic scale. Rock, blues, whatever. Like, most of it is blues based. Blues itself being based on jazz, I think. Or vice versa. I don't know. Music history is not the point right now. Anyways, it's all based around the pentatonic scale. And there are three variations of that scale. What I'm about to play is the most basic version. This is called the open pentatonic. Pay attention to my fingers, I'll walk you through it. Okay. So for those who don't know, let's see, headstock's right up here, first fret. So, for those who don't know, that's the pentatonic scale. It's called the open because, God, I'm so awful on camera. It's called the open because in between each note you're fretting, which is what it's called when you put the finger down. You'll hit an open where you have no fingers on the string. And you basically work down in the shape of a G. You start on the third fret on the G, second fret on the A, second fret on the D, you fucking cat, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and third fret on the bottom E. Put it all together slowly with the opens included and it sounds like this. And you can play it backwards as a finger exercise. A standard exercise is to play them in triplicate front to back but to save on a bit of time, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the major pentatonic scale. So major, you're starting third fret on the top again. But the trick here is you're going to swing around to the sixth fret. Yeah, the sixth. And either throw your pinky or your ring finger up there. And then from there, you basically just follow the dots down the fretboard until you reach the second string. So, three, six, three, five, three, five, Three, five, three, six, three, six. And those frets, those notes in that order on exactly those frets is the major pentatonic scale. Last variation, the minor. You slide on down from the sixth to the seventh fret. Yeah, seventh. I don't think about this a lot, I just do it. And then seven, ten, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, 
7, 10. And you can also play both of those in triple clip front to back. But to get an idea of how to throw them together, here's an example. That is riffing on nothing but the pentatonic scales. The open. The major. And the minor. basics. If you can get the hang of that, regardless of which speed you're playing at, because you are playing a scale, it will sound sonically pleasing to the ear. And fun fact, most people don't care if you can play guitar well, because most people don't know how to play guitar. The only people who will give you shit about it are other guitarists. In which case, fuck off, you're learning, you do you. So, one last thing before I go, when I play the scales and I do it in triplicate as a warm-up, I tend to get bored and play around with them a bit, so I'm going to walk you through how I would normally play the major. If I can get it right. That's another thing, you're going to fuck up a lot, live with it. Awful. How I do the minor. Yeah, you can adjust the tempos, the rhythm patterns, and the strumming if you get bored while playing the pentatonic. But that's typically for when you've been playing a while like I have. So, there you go. Hopefully you learned something. If anybody likes this, if it helps anybody, I'll do another video. I'm just kind of bored. It's my off day. I'm trying to see if this takes at all. <laughs> One more time before I end the video. Open. Major. Minor. Hopefully this helps somebody. <laughs>